Back, and I'm coming to you guys with an exciting video. I'm really pumped about this one, guys. Uh, I've been putting up posters all over the, my man cave a little bit, guys, and I just got my Pokemon poster here in the corner of the original Gen 1 Pokemon, guys, the first 151, and it inspired me to make another Pokemon video. It's been a little while, guys. I finished up my Pokemon rankings where I made my top six from each of the generations, so I made it all the way through, and we have a new generation coming out pretty soon here. Uh, it's like the Hisu, Hisu, Hisu region. So it's a new game coming out, guys. So once the game comes out, I get to play it a little bit. Uh, I'll do my top six for that one as well. But I wanted to start a new Pokemon talk, guys, on the channel. Uh, a new series. And this one's going to be me ranking each generation's Pokemon. So I'm going to go in order, 1 to 151. I'm going to give you a grade from S to F, guys. Um... I can't imagine I'm going to give out a lot of Fs because I don't think there's any Pokemon that I just like absolutely despise and hate. Uh, that'd be F tier and S are just like the best of the best in that generation. So um, we'll give them a grade in between guys. I'm going to go through all 151. I won't go into too much detail about each Pokemon or what this video will be like two hours long. So I'm going to talk a little bit about each one, give you a grade, and move on to the next one. So I'll try to make it as efficient as possible, guys. Uh, Pokemon's a huge part of my life. Obviously, I got my Pokemon shirt. I'm ready to go for this one, guys. Uh, Pokemon was like the first anime series that I watched that got me into anime. So it went from Pokemon to Dragon Ball Z to One Piece and Naruto, and it just kind of like evolved from there. And now I'm a, an anime and manga just nut and fan, and I love everything about it. So uh, that was where it started, guys. At, my name is Ash, so obviously I've got a, uh, a good connection to Pokemon, but I'm really excited. So this poster, uh, I'm not going to be going based on the poster, guys. I've got it up on my computer here as well, so we're going to go based on this, but I got the list up. We're going to jump in, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more of these videos, guys, to stay posted. When I get more of these, Gen 2 will be next. I don't know when I'm going to post them, but I'll make sure to put it out on my Twitter or Instagram that I'll be making a video soon. So guys, I'm excited for this one here. Let's jump right in. Starting with number one, Bulbasaur, guys. One of the three starters. Uh, Bulbasaur is a cool Pokemon. Uh, not a Pokemon I think a lot of people pick as their starter. It's usually either Squirtle or Charmander. So if you're a Bulbasaur person, guys, let me know in the comments below. Like, Tell me why you picked Bulbasaur over the other two. But I, I've always been a fan of Bulbasaur. I think Bulbasaur is cool. I always liked Ash's Bulbasaur. Uh, the fact that it never really evolved. That and Squirtle. So... Really like Bulbasaur. I'm going to give Bulbasaur a B, a B grade. Bulbasaur was just a, a good Pokemon, a really solid Pokemon. Uh, and just like the design of it, it was really cool looking. So I'm going to give Bulbasaur a B grade. So that's the first one, guys. First grade of the day is a B. Uh, let's move on to Ivysaur. I feel like we don't see much of Ivysaur in the series much at all. Um, so it wasn't a Pokemon I really had any particular like love or hate for, just was one of the Pokemon that was there. It's just one of the evolutions of Bulbasaur. So I'm gonna give Ivysaur a C. Uh, Ivysaur is pretty cool. The bulb kinda is blossoming and it's turning into the plant. Um, really cool, but it doesn't like evolve too much from Bulbasaur. See if the skin color turns from like green to blue. So yeah, I'm gonna give Ivysaur a C, a solid C grade. It's just a very average Pokemon, really cool, um, but nothing too spectacular about it. Uh, moving on, guys. Number three is going to be Venusaur. So one of the three top evolutions. Um, Venusaur is cool. A huge Pokemon. A really, really big Pokemon, guys. So you're powerful. One of like the most well-known grass Pokemon there is out there. So it's it's got a well-known, uh, renowned. It's really well-renowned. That's what I wanted to say. Renowned in the series. Um, but again, not a Pokemon that I have like have a huge love for so i'm gonna give venusaur a b as well so i'm gonna give venusaur a b as well uh i think that's a good grade for venusaur now here we go this is <laughs> now we're moving into the the fun stuff already charmander this is my go-to i think a lot of people's go-to because everyone loves charizard so we'll get to charizard but charmander i'm gonna give charmander a solid a uh, Charmander was one of the coolest Pokemon. I love the little Salamander look design to it. I love the little flame on his tail. I like when the flame gets bigger, it gets stronger. When it's tiny, you know its life force is in danger. Uh, we learned a lot about Charmander when Ash's Charmander was introduced into the series. So I literally loved Charmander and everything about it. Uh, fire type, I'm my favorite 
type is fire. So if I had a superpower, it'd be most likely a fire type power. So Charmander, a solid A type, one of my favorites. Charmeleon, uh, really cool, like a bigger version. Trying to, now we're starting to see like dinosaur aspects of Charmander and Charmeleon. So Charmeleon gets that darker hue of red, a little more like sassy, which is not, <laughs> kind of funny. So I love the like char, 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 char. <laughs> he always gave Ash in the series, really funny. Uh, Charmeleon was a good Pokemon. I'm gonna give Charmeleon um, a B grade as well. It wasn't my favorite. I, I just was like, all right, let's get the Charizard already. So Charmeleon, I'm gonna give a B. Uh, not as adorable and not as likable as Charmander, but it was still like a really cool, solid Pokemon. So I'm just gonna say Charmeleon was a B grade. Uh, moving on. I think we all know where this one's going. Charizard, one of the kingpins of all of Pokemon. No matter what generation you love or play, uh, Charizard is a fan favorite by far. One of the coolest Pokemon, one of the most badass Pokemon in the entire series. Uh, a Pokemon that everyone, I think, I'm not going to say everyone because nothing is 100%, but I think a lot of people love Charizard. Uh, Charizard is an easy S tier Pokemon to me. He's cool, he's powerful, he's strong, he's loyal once you earn his trust. Uh, Ash's Charizard is one of the coolest characters, I'm going to say, Pokemon in the series. So I really, really love Charizard. Uh, definitely, I think Charizard for sure was in my top six when I picked through Gen 1. So I love Charizard. Love Charizard. So that was easy, guys. That's an S tier. All right. Moving to the end of Gen 1 starters. We got Squirtle. Squirtle's awesome. Love the little turtle shell Pokemon. Really cute. Squirtle Squad was awesome. I think that's also really well renowned in the Pokemon series. The Squirtle Squad. Uh, really good merchandising as well. <laughs> so great job. Uh, Squirtle, I'm going to give an A. I love Squirtle. Squirtle's really cool. Um, Water types kind of introduce uh, a love for water types, which is really awesome. So nice, solid A for Squirtle. War Turtle, again, I, I really like, of the second, of the first generation's like second evolutions, excuse me, I've got the hiccups. <laughs> um, War Turtle was really cool. So I think it's one of my favorites of the second evolutions. I think it is my favorite of the second evolutions of the starters. It just, it kind of just takes the Squirtle to the next level really well. And I like that its ears are changing and its shell's cool and its hint, the hue is a little darker. It's a cooler blue. Uh, I really like War Turtle. So War Turtle's gonna get an A for me as well. Uh, I really like War Turtle a lot. Really nice Pokemon. I'm not gonna go into too much detail because I mean, it's again in that like middle generation. So people are usually trying to get it to a Blastoise anyways, but War Turtle's a good Pokemon. I like War Turtle. So we're gonna give it a day. Uh, moving on, Blastoise. So finishing up guys, the starters, Blastoise. I mean, it's a turtle with cannons coming out of its back. So, I mean, naturally, people are going to be drawn to Blastoise. Blastoise is a badass Pokemon. Um, I'm going to give Blastoise an A as well. I'm not going to quite put it in the S tier. Uh, I don't love Blastoise as much as I do Charizard, which is why I can't put Blastoise in the S tier. So, that's pretty much how a lot of these Pokemon are going to be compared. Is Do I like this Pokemon as much as I like Charizard? And that's how it's going to be in the S tier. Now, Charizard isn't my top Pokemon. My, my favorite Pokemon of all time. Um, go watch my Pokemon rankings to find out which my favorite Pokemon is, guys. Um, but Blastoise, solid A. I think the Squirtle generation, the Squirtle evolution is just an A start to front, start to back, guys. So uh, really cool Pokemon. I got my own little Pokemon here. She wants to be in the video. Come here. Ah. You saying hi? You want to join me for this video? Okay, you can be here for a little bit. All right, guys, moving on. We gave Blastoise an A. <laughs> Thank you. Caterpie. Uh, see, this is like one of the Pokemon that I just really didn't care about that much. Caterpie's funny. I think it was Caterpie, or maybe it was Weedle, that scared Misty when we first got to the forest in the anime, and that killed me. I die every time I see that. It's so funny. So just for that, I'm going to give... Okay, you want to get down. <laughs> I'm giving Caterpie a C. Very average Pokemon. Nothing too cool. I do like how Caterpillar-ish Caterpie looks. Like really, really cool design. It's got the big eyes. It's got the horn in front of them. Really cool design. And just like the design alone and that scene, I'm giving Caterpie a C. Um, Metapod, <laughs> I don't want to say one of the most useless Pokemon out there, um, but I mean, you gotta love Harden. <laughs> gotta love it. Uh, that Harden battle that they had in the forest was super funny. Like Harden, Harden, they were both getting stronger and stronger. Uh, it wasn't until the Beedrill kind of hit him and nicked him that he turned into Butterfree. So that was really cool. Uh, but Metapod in general, 
I'm giving Metapod a D. Like I just, I, one of those Pokemon I just really, really had no patience for. Uh, really never had the desire to have. Um, I wish I could get just went from Caterpie to Butterfree, uh, but unfortunately we couldn't. So Metapod was just there. But yeah, I'm gonna give Metapod a D. That may be a little harsh, but I'm not a huge fan. All right, next up is Butterfree. Okay, we're going back up. Butterfree, beautiful Pokemon. I love the scents that come out of its wings. It's got the cute little bug eye design. Caterpie is a really cool Pokemon. It's really adorable and not all that strong. Um, but I like that it's a bug, like psychic flying type. So that was cool. So I like all the types that Butterfree can use. So I'm gonna give Butterfree Mm, I'm gonna give Butterfree a C as well. I think it's a very cool, like, just good enough Pokemon. Just good enough. It's passes. C's get degrees, guys. So I'm gonna give Butterfree a C as well. Um, up next, we got Weedle. Ooh. So Weedle, again, has got a great cat caterpillar, like, centipede design. Uh, more caterpillar. Uh, it's got the horn on its head. It's got the poison type, so really cool. But I'm very similar to Caterpie. I'm gonna give Weedle a C. Weedle's gonna get a C. Um... I like Kakuna's design, guys. So moving on to Kakuna number 14. Uh, Kakuna's design I like better than Metapods, but I'm still giving Kakuna a D. Uh, just the pod Pokemon, I just couldn't get into them. They annoyed the crap out of me. Whenever I see one, I'm like, oh, Metapod should. I'm like, gosh, and you can never run away from them for some reason, I don't know why. So <laughs> Kakuna gets a D as well. Beedrill, now this is one of the bug Pokemon I really enjoyed. I loved running into Beedrill. They think, just in the game when they popped up, they looked menacing and cool and badass. Um, I'm gonna give Beedrill a B. B for Beedrill, that's really cool. <laughs> that just worked out that way. So I'm gonna give Beedrill a B, guys. Uh, I just like Beedrill's design. He's a hornet, He's he looks scary, he's a scary Pokemon, they chase him, and don't let there be a swarm of them or you're screwed. So Beedrill gets a B. Uh, let's keep moving. All right, guys, I think everyone's favorite flying type, Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot, guys. So Pidgey, Again, just like a cute little bird Pokemon. I'm going to give Pidgey a C. Uh, normal, just very average Pokemon. Really cool. It's a cute Pokemon. Uh, nothing that great about it. It's just a C Pokemon. So we're going to move on. Pidgeotto. Now Pidgeotto is starting to get the like little mohawk going on. Starting to get some swag to its name, to its body a little bit. I like Pidgeotto a lot. Uh, I'll give Pidgeotto a B. I think Pidgeotto is a cool B Pokemon. Um, and I'm going to do the same for Pidgeot. Pidgeot, I'm going to give a B to as well. I like Pidgeot's design. I think they said it's one of the fastest Pokemon. It flies at like Mach 10. It doesn't actually, but it was like something crazy like that. The Pidgeot is super fast. So I really like the whole Pidgey family. I mean, it was a Pokemon that I usually always had for a good while in the Pokemon games before I got a better flying type or before I got Charizard and top Charizard fly. So <laughs> Pidgey it was usually in my party for a good while while I was playing Gen 1. So Pidgeot, Pidgeotto, Bees, Pidgey, I gave a C to. Uh, Rado, I think Concisus, one of the most annoying Pokemon to run into in the Pokemon games. I'm giving Rado a D. Now I like the variety Raticate gives you. Raticate can learn like a hundred different moves, <laughs> which is crazy. I mean, Raticate can learn Thunder and Hyper Beam and Blizzard and all these crazy moves. So I loved that part of him in the game and the normal types in especially in gen one had a good advantage against a lot of pokemon because they just weren't weak to much uh so i like that about Raticate. so i'm gonna give Raticate a b actually i liked Raticate a lot i like that the design looks like a big rat um really cool spiro moving on guys number 21 spiro was one of like the original bad guys in the series when they chase ash and pikachu and this is what brings pikachu and ash together and kind of starts their bond Pikachu starts to trust Ash. Ash puts his life on the line for Pikachu, and it's because they get chased by Spiro and Firo. So, um, I mean, I'll never forget it ever till the day I die. So, Spiro uh, is one of those cool Pokemon. Um, not a Pokemon I ever caught. I don't think I caught one Spiro. Maybe to complete my Pokedex, uh, but I never kept it in my party. So, I'm gonna give Spiro a C. Very average Pokemon. Uh, Firo. I think I like Firo less than Spiro, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I like Spiro, but Firo, I just had no desire for at all. I don't think I evolved the one Spiro. Again, maybe to finish a Pokedex, but even if I was like, ah, I really don't want a Firo, I'm gonna give Firo a D. Like, I just 
had no desire for Fearogre, not much at all. Um, cool design. It's a nice bird Pokemon, but again, I just didn't really like it. Uh, moving on, guys. Number 23, we got Ekans. So one of the snake Pokemon. Ekans is cool. Um, I always think of Jesse, Jesse and James, Jesse's Ekans. Uh, again, another another average Pokemon. I'm going to give Ekans a C. Ekans is really just a cool C Pokemon. I think the snake Pokemon designs were really awesome. Now, we get to Arbok. Arbok's design is really cool. I like what they did with the King Cobra look, and he's got the hood, and he's got the face, the menacing face. I'm going to give Arbok an A. I love Arbok's design. I just wish Arbok would have been a little stronger, but I enjoyed having Arbok in my party at times when I played Gen 1. I really like Arbok a lot. The design itself, I just love the hood. So cool. Um, that may be controversial. I don't think a lot of people like think of Arbok that way, but I really like Arbok and his design. So Arbok gets an A for me. I think I, I'm even surprising myself with that one. But now that I'm looking at an Arbok, like, I really like it a lot. All right, guys, this one is going to be fun. Pikachu, number 25, guys. Um, the face of the franchise. Your boy's Pikachu's on his shirt right now. So Pikachu, easy, easy uh, S-tier Pokemon. Pikachu's just lovable. He's Thunder Buddy. Uh, it's like a little mouse, Thunder Mouse. So Pikachu's just lovable, super strong, loyal. I mean, Ash's Pikachu is hard enough to love. So Pikachu's an S tier Pokemon. I mean, it's up there with Charizard and Eevees for me. Like I love Pikachu. Pikachu's design is so cool. And I even love, moving on, to Raichu, guys. Love Raichu a lot. I think it looks like an even more badass. It's got like that darker orange hue to it. It's got the thunderous cheeks as well. Its ears get a little more like badass. It's got the whip tail with the lightning ball at the end. I think Raichu's really cool. I'm gonna give Raichu an A. Raichu's A tier for sure. I love Raichu a lot. Especially the Alola Raichu, right? Like he's riding the surfboard well, on his tail. When we get to that generation, we'll get there, guys, but you'll be up there. Alolan Raichu is phenomenal. Phenomenal. A lot of these Gen 1 Pokemon, their Alolan forms, even better than the originals. Um, speaking of the devil, 27, guys, we got Sandrew. Sandrew. Ground type, and I feel like I'm taking a really long time, so I'm gonna try to speed it up, guys. I'm gonna give Sandrew, um, I like the hedgehog design, guys, really cool, and I love that it rolls into a little ball. So I'm gonna give Sandrew a B. I like Sandrew, I like Sandrew a lot. Um, I have no complaints about Sandrew, the design is cool, it's a cute Pokemon. Uh, Sand Slash, I don't like as much as Sandrew, I like Sandrew as more than Sand Slash, so I'm gonna give Sand Slash a C. Um, I like the Spikes coming off its back, but that's pretty much it. Tough <laughs> from Sandrew. Uh, much more than that, I don't. I don't really. I've never really cared for Sandrew all that much. Sand Slash, excuse me. Um, so Sand Slash, I'm gonna give a uh, C two. All right, we got the Nidoran Groove. So we're gonna start with the female version of the Nidoran, the blue one. If you're not sure, uh, Nidorans. Uh, I pretty much only got Nidorans to evolve into Nidoqueen Queen or Nidoqueen. Queen. So Nidoran, I'm gonna give a C two. For the Nidorans, both the female and male versions, uh, I'm going to give C's to. So, guys, I'll put them both together. Um, now, Nidorinas, I do like one more than the other, guys. I like the male version, the pink one, that stays on all fours with the horn in front of it more than I do, like, the female one. So, I'm going to give the female one a C, and I'm going to give the male one a B. Um... I just like the male, the pink one a little bit more, the male version of Nido, Nidorino a little bit more, just a little bit more than the blue version. But yeah, I'm going to give Nidorino a B, the male version, and Nidorino, the female version, a C. And now for Nido King and Nido Queen, they're both in the B range for me, guys. They're both in the B range. Really cool Pokemon. Uh, can be very strong. You see a lot of leaders with, uh, with them. I think Gary has a Nido King, Queen. I think he has a Nidal Queen, actually. I think Gary has a Nidal Queen. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think he has a Nidal Queen. But really solid Pokemon. They look pretty cool. Um, but I just don't think they're in the A tier yet. So I'm going to put them in the B tier. Both of them are in the B tier for me. Uh, moving on. Pokemon number 35, guys. We got Clefairy. I'm going to put Clefairy in the C tier. I just never really cared for Clefairy all that much. So I'm going to put Clefairy in the C tier there as well. Clefable. Even cared less about Clefable. I'm gonna put Clefable in the D tier. Um, I, don't, I don't. I can't even remember seeing Clefable in this, the game, <laughs> let alone the series as well. We had that one episode at Moon Mountain, 
and you see all of them like Clefairy, Clefairy, they're all doing the dance. Um, there might have been a Clefable there, I can't even remember. So I'm gonna give Clefable a D. I, I, I have no love hate for Clefable, I just never see it, don't really care about it. All right, guys, moving on to Vulpix. Vulpix, again, fire type, guys. I love my fire types. Um, I'm gonna give Vulpix, uh, it's hovering between a C and a B. So I'm gonna give Vulpix a B. I like Vulpix a lot. I like the Ninetales aesthetic design. Vulpix is cute. I loved Brock's relationship with his Vulpix. He just like grooming it, so that was really funny. So I'm gonna give Vulpix a B. Uh, Ninetales, I'm giving Ninetales an A. I really, really love Ninetales. Ninetales is one of the cooler Pokemon to me. It's beautiful. I'm a dog guy. Obviously, you've seen the dogs in some of my videos. I love the dog Pokemon, most if not all of them. So Ninetales warms my heart. I love the, the fox design, the tails it has. It's beautiful. It looks very elegant. Uh, yeah, Ninetales is in the A range for me, guys. I really like Ninetales. Uh, moving on. We got Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff for the anime alone, gets a beat. Hilarious, I love that it sings the Jigglypuff song, I thought it was actually really nice. Whenever they started singing the Jigglypuff song, I was like, wow, this is really relaxing, really peaceful. So I really like Jigglypuff. So I'm gonna give Jigglypuff a B. I like Jigglypuff a lot. Wigglytuff gets a C. Um, don't care as much about Wigglytuff. <laughs> I mean, Wigglytuff is cute too, but I, I'm a bigger fan of Jigglypuff, so Wigglytuff gets a C for me. Uh, Zubat. Zubat, again, one of those Pokemon that when you run into them in the game gets super annoyed. So I'm going to give Zubat a D. Zubat gets a D for me. Um, not a huge fan of it. Didn't really care for it all that much. Golbat. Uh, I'm going to put Golbat as a C. Um, I don't really like this evolution until we get to Crobat, so... Uh, usually I would just get him to evolve into a Crobat. So I'm going to give Golbat a C, Zubat a D. All right, moving on. Oddish. Oddish is really cute. It just looks like a little plant. He just plucked a little plant out of the ground. There's just a body hanging from it. It looks like a little blueberry. Um, Oddish is really cute. I'm going to give it Oddish a C as well. Just a cute Pokemon. <laughs> Gloom always made me laugh. It's got the drool coming out of its mouth. Uh, I'm also going to give Gloom a C. Just, again, one of those Pokemon that is average. like him a lot. I like Vileplume, so we're going to move on to Vileplume, guys, number 45. Vileplume is actually a decent-looking Pokemon. It's got the shroom, it's got the um, mist that comes out, and it's got the different mist for, like, the poison or paraly paralyzation. Um, so I like Vileplume a lot. I think Vileplume is one of the cooler grass Pokemon that are out there. Um, I'm going to give Vileplume a B. I think Vileplume deserves a nice, solid B. Moving on, guys, number 46, we got Paris. A little bug grass Pokemon. I'm gonna give Paris a D. Oh yeah, one of those Pokemon I didn't really care for. Um, so yeah, Paris, you get a D. Enjoy that D. Uh, Parasect. Parasect, I'm also gonna give a D to. Again, not a Pokemon I've ever had the desire to have. Um, it's just kind of there. <laughs> the, that evolution is just kind of there. Uh, Venonet. Venonet gets a C from me. I like Venonet. I just think the bug Pokemon are kind of cute with the big eyes. And I like the Venonet, Venonet. No, I just like the Venonet. Uh, Venomoth. I'm going to give Venomoth a C too. I think Venomoth deserves a C. Very average Pokemon. Really cool. Um, moving on, guys. Number 50. God, we're a third of the way there, guys. Don't worry. It's going to be an hour video. <laughs> we got Diglett. Diglett. Again, not a Pokemon I ever desired to have. Uh, I'm going to give Diglett a D. That goes well together. Diglett gets a D for me. Um, I like when eventually they get hair and they become like the surfer dudes. Um, but I love that the Alolan Diglett has like three hairs or one hair sticking out of its head. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, Diglett gets a D. Nothing that crazy about Diglett. Uh, Doug Trio, I actually really liked as well. Uh, I'm going to give Doug Trio a B. So I like the evolution of Diglett, but not actually Diglett. Dugdrio gets a B for me. Uh, whenever it popped up in the game, I usually caught it. I usually did catch Dugdrio. I don't know if I ever kept it all that long, um, but I like that a new dig, and it was really effective at the third gym. Again, Surge <laughs> and the Raichu. So yeah, I'll take Dugdrio. Dugdrio is a B type. All right, Meowth. No, <laughs> we all want a talking Meowth. 
that understands Pokemon and can talk to Pokemon other than that. So I would want Meowth from Team Rocket, but a, that's not the norm. That is a special case. So general Meowth, I'm going to give Meowth a C. Uh, I think it's a cute cat Pokemon. I got a cat for the first time in forever. I First time I've ever owned a cat. And I think they're hilarious. I think cats are super funny. So for that, Meowth gets a C for me. Um, the Persian, guys. Up next is Persian. Persian gets an A. I really, really like Persian. I really, I'm, I'm half Persian too, so I think I'm a little biased. <laughs> um, but Persian is so cool to me. Really, really cool aesthetic. It's got this panther-like design. Uh, I like Giovanni's Persian that just kind of sits there and he like pets it and strokes it. Yeah, Persian is really cool. Badass looking design. Just a cool cat Pokemon like leopard. Not a leopard, but a mountain lion looking design. So I like that. Persian gets a B for me. Or an A, excuse me. All right, guys. We got Psyduck. <laughs> I love that Psyduck. Gets his headaches and it's just like this goofy little Pokemon. Uh, Psyduck gets a B. I like Psyduck. Psyduck is funny. Uh, so does Golduck. Golduck's gonna get a B for me as well. I like Golduck's design. It looks, just took that next step. It looks badass. I love the blue. Uh, blue's my favorite color, so that always stuck out to me a lot. I liked having Golduck in the series and in the, in the games as well. So I really like Golduck. So Golduck gets a B for me. Uh, we got Mankey and Primate, guys. So Mankey, uh... I like the fighting type, and I love that it's always bouncing, like, ready to have a fight. I have a hair on my nose. There, you got it. Mankey gets a C. I think Mankey deserves a nice LC. Just a really nice average Pokemon. Really cool. Uh, I like Primeape a lot. So, guys, we're going to move on to Primeape. Primeape gets a B for me. I like the gloves of Primeape. And he's got, like, the anklets around his arms and his uh, legs as well. So, I like that design uh, aspect they put in there. So, I'm going to give Primeape uh, a solid B. I think he deserves a solid B. And I like that he's just, like... This monkey puff pig thing. Really interesting. Uh, Growlithe. We're getting back to the dog Pokemon, guys. Growlithe gets a B from me. I like Growlithe a lot. I'm really excited to see Growlithe in the newest game coming out. The Hisu regions, Growlithe. It's got, like, the hair coming, covering its eyes. And we haven't seen what Arcanine's going to look like in the game yet. But I think it's going to look so badass. Maybe we have. I'll have to go back and look. But I know for sure we saw what Growlithe, Growlithe is going to look like. So... I'm excited for that one, guys, here. So you'll see that maybe Growlithe will make my top six. Uh, but Growlithe in the originals, solid, solid B tier. And Arcanine gets an A, obviously, guys. Arcanine is one of the coolest Pokemon. It's in the theme song. Uh, I think Ash is riding on it. So one of the coolest Pokemon out there, and especially in Gen 1. Uh, again, a fire type, guys. I love my fire types. So <laughs> Arcanine gets an A. Uh, let's keep moving on, guys. Poliwag... It's a cute little tadpole Pokemon. I'm gonna call it. I'm gonna give Poliwag a C. I think Poliwag is really cool. It's a cute Pokemon. Uh, now for Poliwhirl, I like less than Poliwag. Poliwhirl gets a D for me. Um, never was a huge fan of Poliwhirl. Uh, if I had a Poliwhirl, I'm trying to get a Poliwrath. Um, so Poliwhirl gets a D. Not a huge fan of Poliwhirl. Poliwrath, also I'm gonna give a C to. Just one of those cool Pokemon. I love the like mesmeration design they have on their stomach. Um, but yeah, Poliwrath gonna get a C. So pretty cool, pretty cool Pokemon evolution scheme for those, but pretty average as well. All right, we're getting to the psychic types for the first time in a little bit, guys. We got Abra. Uh, Abra, not good for much, but teleport. So, um, but it's just a cool design. So I'm gonna give Abra a C as well. Just one of those cool Pokemon that kind of sits there and hangs out. If you don't catch it on the first try, it's going to teleport from you. That was always annoying in the game. Because uh, you always wanted to catch Abra to get a Kadabra. And if you didn't have anyone to trade with, well, you're screwed to try to get an Alakazam. So there's always tricks to do it. Uh, have two Game Boys. Trade with yourself. Trade back. <clears throat> uh, that's usually what I did. Um, but Abra, yeah, I'm going to give a C to Abra. Kadabra, I really like. Kadabra gets a B for me. Kadabra is really cool. I love the one spoon and he's got the like the fox and the mustache game is on point. So Kadabra gets a B and I'm going to put Alakazam in A tier, guys. I really like Alakazam. He's, his psychic powers have grown. His mustache got even longer, which is an A plus for me. So guys, Alakazam, definitely in the A tier. Let's keep rolling. We got Machop. I'm putting Machop in the D tier. I never liked Machop really all that much. Never really wanted him. Um, I would try to evolve him as soon as possible to get him a choke. But yeah, I'm putting Machop in the D tier. Like, really didn't like the design of it. Uh, moving on, guys. We got Machoke. Machoke. Now, this is where we start getting cool. I like Machoke's design a lot. He's just buff. He's got, like, three lines in his hair. I'm giving Machoke a B. 
Machoke is one of those cool Pokemon that I really liked having in the game. Uh, one of the original fighting types. Uh, really liked Machoke's designs. So Machoke gets a B for me. And Machamp's in the A tier, guys. Machamp is a gangster. He's got the four arms. Uh, ben 10 style. Ben 10's design was definitely designed off of Machoke. For sure. Machamp, excuse me. For sure. So Machamp, definitely in the A tier. Uh, let's move on, guys. Number 69. We got Bellsprout. Bellsprout, solid D. <laughs> Just, now again, one of those Pokemon was super annoying to run into. Didn't have really any desire to have a Bellsprout. One of the grass Pokemon that if you didn't have a grass Pokemon and you needed one, Bellsprout was a good go-to sometimes. So, uh, Bellsprout, solid D tier. I'm going to give Weeping Bell a D as well. Never really cared for Weeping Bell. Uh, I like that it always, like, glom on to James's head. <laughs> that was always really funny. Uh, the one thing I remember of Weeping Bell is the Voltorb getting stuck in its mouth uh, during the hospital episode. So, uh, that's pretty much all I remember from Weeping Bell all that match. Victory Bell is always funny because when James's Victory Bell evolves, uh, is always eating him. Like, puts him in and is, like, digesting him. So, Weeping Bell is really funny. I'm going to give Weeping Bell... I actually really like the design of Weeping Bell. I'm going to give Weeping Bell a B. Um... I like Weeping Bell design a lot. I like that it's eyes. You can like barely notice the eyes. Uh, moving on, guys. Number 72. We're about halfway. Tentacool. D. Solid D. It's about all I have to say about Tentacool. <laughs> Nothing too exciting about it. Squid Pokemon. Uh, I think they could have done more with it. So I'm going to do D. Tentacruel. Uh, again, never really had any desire for a Tentacruel. Uh, I remember like the giant Tentacruel attack in the city that one time. Uh, so I'm going to give Tentacruel a C. Average. Uh, I like that they did more with the design when it evolved into the Tentacruel. So, yeah. Solid C. Geodude. I like Geodude a lot, guys. I'm going to give Geodude a C. Really cool, solid Pokemon. Uh, definitely deserves a C. I always like Brock's Geodude, so that's why it stands out so much to me. Brock's Geodude was really cool. Um... I love that it's just got arms coming out of its body and just floats around. No one has explained why it floats either. <laughs> I just, to this day, no one's explained it. Um, Graveler. Again, with the forearm design. Really cool. I'm going to give a Graveler a C as well. I don't think it's quite B tier. Just, again, just a passing Pokemon. It passes the test. Going to give Graveler a C. Sorry, I'm trying to see what Raven's eating. Raven, what are you eating? Oh, mom gave you a treat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Up next, guys, number 76, we got Golem. I'm trying to find Golem up here as well. There it is, guys. Golem. Golem's really cool. Like the rock turtle dinosaur looking Pokemon. I don't know. Something about Golem is always really cool to me. I really liked Golem design. Um, I'm going to give Golem a B. Golem gets a solid B. I think he's just past passing. I think he gets a B. Uh, solid He's just a really solid Pokemon. I really like the design of Golem. Uh, I feel like he's got really stubby arms. That always made me laugh. All right, we're moving on to Ponyta. So, guys, um, the I always think of the race episode um, from the original Pokemon series where Ash is racing against... I don't even... I can't remember the guy's name. The, the, the guy running a Dugdrio. Uh, and Ponyta evolves into Rapid Ash and he just fucking takes off. I like Ponyta a lot. Ponyta gets a solid B for me. Uh, Ponyta is cool. It's the Flame Horse Pokemon. Really liked. I would. I personally would want a Ponyta if Pokemon were real. I would really want it. So guys, uh, Ponyta is a B. Uh, up next is Rapidash. Rapidash gets an A for me. I again love Rapidash's design. It's got like the unicorn aesthetic, the flame hair, flame mare coming out of its back, its legs as well. One of the fastest, if not the fastest, land Pokemon that there is. So Rapidash, really, really cool. Solid A for me. Slowpoke. I think I'm going to give Slowpoke a D. Mm, the water psychic type is cool. Um, but other than that, Slowpoke was just below average for me. I just never really liked Slowpoke that much. Um, so yeah, Slowpoke is a solid D. We're going to give Slowpoke a D. Slowbro. <laughs> I always think of the... Second movie for Slowbro and Slow King and all those guys. I'm going to give Slowbro a C. Again, just passes. Just passes. Let's go up, guys. Magnemite. I like just when Magnemite talks. Magnemite, Magnemite. I really like that, guys. So Magnemite. I'm going to give Magnemite a C. Magneton gets a C as well. I'm going to give both of them a C. Magnemite gets a C. Magneton gets a C as well. Uh, you passed the test, guys. Good job. 
far-fetched. <laughs> this one's hard for me. Uh, again, I'm gonna give far-fetched a C. I didn't really like have any desire to get a far-fetched when I played the games. Um, yeah, to this day, I still don't really like Farfetch. I think it's a cool looking Pokemon. I just never really wanted it. I think there's an, I don't think I really like the design. I do like the design. I didn't really like the move set that it had. Um, it didn't evolve at all in Gen 1 either. So I just thought it was like a very, just, it was too basic for me. Um, so Farfetch gets a C. Uh, Doduo. So Doduo. I'm going to give a D to Doduo, guys. I just really didn't have it. I didn't think Doduo was cool. I like the two head aspects. Um, that was funny to me growing up. Dodo, or Doduo. But, yeah, I'm going to give Doduo a D. Now, Dodrio, I love that they fight all the time. That was always funny. <laughs> when they get angry and they all have different personalities. One was, like, sad. One was grumpy. And one was, like, the leader, fierce. Um, I'm going to give Dodrio a B. I think Dodrio deserves a B. Oh, again, yeah, one of those really fast Pokemon and it's a flying type, but I think they said that in the show that Dodrio couldn't fly. <laughs> so that was always funny to me as well. That they list it as a flying type just because it's a bird. It's like an ostrich. Ostriches don't fly. It's just really fast. Um, moving on. We got Seal. Seal is just one of those cool average Pokemon. I'm going to give Seal a C as well. Um, again, nothing too crazy about Seal. It's a cool ice type. I know Seal for being more of an ice type than water type, but it is more of water than ice. Um, Dugong is cool. It's like a sea leopard with a, like a little unicorn head on a unicorn horn on the head. I'm going to give Dugong a B. Dugong is cool. Um, I always think of Dugong in a rower beam. Um, that's all I think about. Cause whenever I saw Dugong in like the elite four, a rower beam used to just mess up my Pokemon every time. And it would just get so annoying. So I'm going to give Dugong a B. Uh, Grimer, Grimer gets D for me. Didn't really like Grimer. Uh, also with Muck. I'm going to give Muck a D as well. Not a Pokemon I ever had the desire to have. So, uh, yeah, Muck gets a D for me as well. Shelder. Um, I'm also going to give Shelder a D. Just n n don't care much about Shelder. <laughs> uh, let's go with Cloyster, guys. Cloyster gets a C. Cloyster is pretty strong. It's a good water ice type. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to give Cloyster a C. Good solid C Pokemon. Ghastly. Uh... Ghastly just has the C in it. So I'm going to give Ghastly. It doesn't actually have a C in it, but it just rolls off the tongue. Ghastly gets a C. Ghastly gets a C for me. One of the cool ghost Pokemon, I think. The only ghost Pokemon, right? In Gen 1. Now I'm going to try to look. Yeah, it's the only ghost type. Yeah. Okay, just making sure. <laughs> just had to double check. I knew in my head, but I just had to, like, confirm. Yeah, Ghastly gets a C for me. Um, Haunter and Gengar. Uh, both going to be B tier, B tiers for me, guys. Uh, solid, solid Pokemon. Really like uh, Ash's Haunter that he used against Kadabra when he fought against Sabrina. Really funny Pokemon and all the goofy faces. Uh, Ash eventually gets a Gengar. Hopefully that doesn't spoil you. Um, but Gengar's backstory is really sad. I'm not going to go into detail. But I like Gengar a lot. I used Gengar whenever I could in the games, like uh, Pokemon Stadium. I liked Gengar. So I think Gengar gets a solid B for me. Onyx. Onyx is one of those badass Pokemons that I really, really like. Uh, Brock's Onyx is what I think about every single time. And Brock's Onyx was awesome. So I'm going to give Onyx an A. I really like Onyx. The design is like this rock snake. with like It starts big and the rocks get a little smaller. And I like the evolution into Steelix. Really cool. Onyx gets an A. Drowsy. Drowsy gets a C for me. So does Hypno. Uh, Drowsy and Hypno both get C's. Uh, average Pokemon. Really cool. I like, like that Drowsy has like the little thing that hypnotizes you. That's always fun. Krabby. <laughs> the first Pokemon Ash caught on his own without the help of any of his other Pokemon. He used a stick. That was really funny. I'm going to give Krabby a C. I like Kingler a lot. So Kingler, guys, for me is going to get a B. Kingler gets a B. Uh, really fun Pokemon, guys. Number 99. All right, we finally made it, guys. Last 50, we're at number 100. Voltorb gets a C. <laughs> the Pokemon Pokeball design. Really funny that they did that, guys. Good on the Pokemon design team for just kind of throwing that in there. So Voltorb gets a C, and then we're just going to 
rotate on its head when it evolves and now the white part is on top for electrode and electrode also gets to see from you guys <laughs> just again average pokemon they pass barely more for the design than anything guys here but it's cool that they made it an electric type uh execute the egg pokemon guys uh, I'm going to give Execute a D. I really don't like Execute all that much. I think the egg design is cute, but other than that, I don't really have any desire for an Execute. Um, Executor, I hate that Executor's evolution is Dragon type. Uh, that really drives me crazy, like the Alolan type, not the Gen 1 type. Gen 1 type is a Grass Psychic, but the uh, Alolan type is a Dragon type, and that is the dumbest thing ever. Ever. There's a lot of dragon type Pokemon that don't deserve to be dragon type Pokemon. Like Alteria, I'm not even going to get started on that one. So, but Executor gets a C. Nice, again, solid Pokemon. It's the pineapple palm tree Pokemon. Um, pretty cool. Cubone, bone, 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 bone. I like Cubone, and it's like, it's wearing the helmet. I've always wanted to know what Cubone's face looks like under the helmet. We, I don't think we've ever found out. And maybe it's just like its skull is on top. Maybe that's what they said about it. I can't remember. Cubone gets a C for me. Marowak, its evolution gets a B. I like Marowak. I like that it becomes like a bone club master and just whirls it and whips it at your head. Super funny. Uh, Marowak gets a B. Oh, here come the fighting types, guys. 106 and 107. We got Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee, guys, based on these designs. I love Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Uh, Hitmonlee is going to get a solid A for me. So is Hitmonchan. They both get A's. I really like these Pokemon. The fighting designs were really cool. Um, yeah, I like the fighting Pokemon tournament that they had with Ash's Primeape going up against all the different fighting types. Yeah, I really like Hitmonlee and Hitmonchan. Um, really solid Pokemon. Number 108, guys, we got Lickitung. Lickitung was one of those Pokemon I never, ever caught. Like, I can't remember catching one in Gen 1 series at all. If you were one of those people who caught a Lickitung, tell me where. <laughs> like, where did you find them? I don't know if I've ever seen a Lickitung. I got it, baby, probably, like, by trading with someone to complete my Pokedex. Um, but, yeah, never, never could run into one. Never could find one. Um... But I like the Lickitung's design. It's got the big lick. It licks Jesse all the time. <laughs> that was always really funny. I'm going to give Lickitung a B just because I like the design. I think Lickitung is a cool Pokemon. I just never got to see it, and that drove me insane. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to give Lickitung a B. Coughing, coughing, coughing. I always think of James when I get to see a coughing. Uh, James from Team Rocket. I'm going to give coughing a D. Again, never really cared for coughing. Uh, same thing for Weezing. I'm going to give Weezing a D as well. Two Pokemon. Didn't really care for. Uh, again, it would be rare for me to give any of Pokemon an F. I don't physically, like, despise any Pokemon. So that's what F would be. If I hate a Pokemon, like, to my core, like, nothing about it uh, is appealing to me, it'll get an F. So pretty much my lowest ranking is a D. And that's what Coughing and Weezing both get. Rhyhorn and Rhydon, guys. Uh, Badass-looking Pokemon. I'm going to give Rhyhorn a D. Not a D. Excuse me. A C. It passes the test for me. I think it's got a really cool rock-like design. Really funny. I like that they ride Rhyhorn a lot sometimes. Uh, Rhydon is a solid B for me. I think Rhydon is cool. Now, if we're talking like Rhyperior, and then we're getting into these. Not different conversation, but Rhydon gets a solid B for me. Uh, again, one of those badass Pokemon. I think uh, Giovanni had one. Or maybe it's... Maybe it's Gary had a ride on. I can't remember. Gary has a lot of Pokemon, so maybe it was a Rhyhorn, but Rhyhorn gets a B. Chansey, Chansey just for being in the hospital scene and being such a like caring and loving motherly Pokemon, I'm gonna give Chansey a B. Uh, just one of those solid, awesome Pokemon that you just, it's hard not to like Chansey in this series. So Chansey gets a B for me. Tangela, and I mean, I mean, I never really like had a Tangela. <laughs> you never really like see Tangela all that much. I'm gonna give Tangela a D. Um, just one of the Pokemon that are there. Kangaskhan is really cool. Kangaskhan gets a B for me. Kangaskhan is one of those cool designs. The jungle episode with all the Kangaskhan and the Kangas Kid. One of my favorites. One of those episodes I'll probably never forget either. The Kangas Kid. Um, Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan. And they all come together in the Safari Zone. That was really fun. So I like Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan gets a B. We're going off to Horsey, guys. Horsey uh, is a solid C. 
just one of those cute Pokemon. I liked Misty's Horsey a lot, so I liked Misty's Horsey. So just because of that, Horsey gets a C. Uh, I like the Seahorse design as well. I like Seahorses. Um, Seedra gets a B. I think Seedra is really cool. It's got the spikes. It's starting to look a little bit more badass before we get to Kingdra, which would be really cool. We'll talk about Kingdra in a different episode, but Seedra, solid B. All right, guys, we're going to go with Goldeen, the goldfish Pokemon. Um, I like the Goldeen just like the pretty Pokemon. That's what I think of Goldeen, just like a pretty princess. Uh, I'm going to give Goldeen a C as well. I just like think Goldeen is pretty cool. I like Seeking less than Goldeen, guys. Seeking is going to get a D for me. Uh, I think Seeking, the design looks really cool. I like the black, white, and the orange. I think it goes really well together. But other than that, there's not much about Seeking that I like. So I'm going to give Seeking a D. So it's pretty much, it's only likable because of the design it has. I like Seeking just for the design. Uh, Star You and Star Me. These are one of the most well-known water Pokemon because of Misty. Obviously, Staryu gets a C for me. One of those cool Pokemon is the Starfish Pokemon. Starmie, I love the blue and then the huge gem that it has in the middle. Starmie's going to get a B. I like Starmie a lot. I like Misty's Pokemon, um, water types. And then Starmie's a psychic type as well, so that's pretty cool. Mr. Mime! You always think of Ash's moms, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime. Uh, I like Mr. Mime a lot. Mr. Mime's going to get a C for me. One of those Pokemon you just, it's a likable Pokemon. Sometimes, if you like mimes. Now, if mimes freak you out, then <laughs> Mr. Mime's probably not the type for you. All right, guys. Scyther. Scyther. Now we're starting to ramp it up a little bit. Scyther is going to get a B for me. I like Scyther's evolution even more, so we'll talk about that in Gen 2, guys. But Scyther gets a solid B. Uh, Jinx, never really liked Jinx. Jinx always looked a little creepy to me. Um, but I like that it's an ice psychic type, a rare combination. So that was always cool. Um, and for the most part, Jinx can be pretty strong. So I like Jinx. I'm going to give Jinx a C. Just passes the test. Electro Buzz, Electro Buzz is pretty cool. I'm going to give Electro Buzz a B. Um, and then moving on to Magmar, guys. 126. Magmar is also going to get a B for me. Solid, solid Pokemon. Both of them with the electric fire. Um, I'm glad they both got evolutions eventually. I was hoping they would have them when I first started playing the game. I was like, oh man, I would love to see Electro Buzz's evolution and Magmar's evolution. They kind of go hand in hand together. So I'm glad they both got evolutions uh, eventually as well. Pinsir, one of the cool Pokemon guys. I'm going to give Pinsir a B as well. Pinsir's awesome. I like that it's got like the weird mouth designed and it's got the huge pincers on the top of its head. Uh, I like Pinsir a lot. Pinsir's going to get a B for me. Tauros, one of the cool bull Pokemon guys. I'm going to give Tauros a B as well. Um, downfall of having animals. You get them hair in your mouth from time to time. Yeah, Tauros gets a solid B. I think Ash got like 100 Tauros. <laughs> so poor Professor Oak is just dealing with a herd of Tauros. That's always funny to me. But yeah, Tauros gets a B. Moving on, Magikarp. So I considered Magikarp for an F. But because... Based on the like legendary fish of Japanese lore, um, Magikarp gets a D. Just because I know what's coming when you get a Magikarp. And you know like the story behind Magikarp and how Magikarp, the fish, the goldfish, eventually turns into the dragon. I, I get where they're going with that. They couldn't just make the goldfish super powerful, so they taught it Splash. Uh, <laughs> that's it. Magikarp is one of those Pokemon that it's useless until you evolve it. So Magikarp gets a D. Um, but Gyarados is a solid, solid A. One of the cool dragon... It's not technically a dragon type. It's a water flying type. But it can fly, which is awesome. It's huge. It's fierce looking. It's a badass looking Pokemon. Gyarados gets a solid A. Uh, I think I've only given out two S tiers so far. I think it was uh, Charizard. And I can't even remember that one I gave it to. Who else did I give an S tier to? Oh, there's Pikachu. Pikachu's an S tier as well. Yeah, so Charizard and Pikachu are the only S tier so far. Uh, moving on to Lapras. Now, Lapras, I always like Lapras' design. It just looked elegant and beautiful. Uh, what if they ever find Nessie? I hope Nessie looks like Lapras. That's like, like my goals for real life is that Nessie looks like Lapras. Uh, I'm going to give N Lapras an A. I like Lapras' design. I like its aesthetic. I like its uh, temperament. I think it's really cool Pokemon. So Lapras gets an A for me. Ditto! Cool that it can like transform into any Pokemon it sees. And I think they can learn the moveset as well. So that makes Ditto pretty powerful. 
Um, especially if you see like a legendary Pokemon and it can like just manifest into the legendary Pokemon, that's pretty cool. But Ditto by itself, I'm gonna give Ditto uh, a solid C. I think Ditto's just one of those average Pokemon, but it's cool that it can use Transform. It's the only Pokemon that can do that that we know of. So really cool that Ditto can do that, but I'm gonna give Ditto a C. All right, now we're starting to get into some of my favorite Pokemon in the entire series, Eevee. If I had a choice of one of the starters, guys, if I could choose my own starting Pokemon, Eevee, probably six out of 10 times would probably be my choice. I love Eevee. Love, 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 love Eevee. Uh, Eevee is an easy, easy S tier for me. Easy S tier for me. Uh, joining Charizard and Pikachu in the S tiers. So yeah, Eevee is one of the cutest Pokemon. I love the dog design. It's, it looks like it's always like well-groomed and combed. Um, yeah, always get jealous of Gary's Eevee. Uh, it made Gary even like more likable when he got Eevee. I was like, oh, Gary looks cool because Eevee's on his shoulder. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, so Eevee gets a definite S tier from me. Now let's get into the first three evolutions of Eevee. Um, Vaporeon, I always thought Vaporeon looked really like slick and ninja-like. So I'm gonna give Vaporeon, excuse me, Vaporeon a B. I like Vaporeon's design. I like that it has like the cloak. So when it gets into water, it like disappears. That's always really cool. So I like Vaporeon a lot. Vaporeon gets a B. Jolteon, I like the spikes, the electric type. Uh, Jolteon also gets a B, and so does Flareon. I'm gonna give them all three a solid B. I don't think there's any that I would put in the A type. Uh, they're not my favorite of the EV illusions, and that's why I'm not putting them in the A type as well. So that's a little misguided for the Gen 1 tiers, but um, it's based on likability. So they're all gonna get Bs for me. So Vaporeon B, Jolteon B, Flareon, uh, also a B type. Um, when we get to the rest of the evolutions, guys, you'll kind of know where I stand. If you watched my original Pokemon videos, you'll know which one's my favorite, too. Uh, Porygon, the weird, like, cube Pokemon. Uh, I'm going to give Porygon a D. Didn't really care for Porygon. Never really wanted it. Uh, so Porygon gets a D for me. Don't care for it all that much. So we're starting to get into the legendaries, guys, here. We're not, we don't have too many left. Um, Omnimite. So we're getting to the fossil types, guys. Omnimite, it's like the shellfish Pokemon. Uh, you see like the actual versions of these in real life. That's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm gonna get Omnivite a C. Omnimite gets a C for me. And then Amistar gets a B. I think Amistar looks even more intimidating. Its mouth starts to open up. Its eyes get a little more slitted. It's got the horns on its shell now. So I think Omnistar, Amistar gets a B. I think Amistar gets a B for me. Kabuto, so we're getting to Kabuto. Kabuto also gets a C. And then I'm gonna give Kabutops a B. I like Kabutops. Becomes huge. He's got this like giant, huge boomerang looking shell head. He's got the scythe arms. That's really cool, like Scyther, and he just looks intimidating. Like if you saw a Kabut or Kabutops like in the wild, I'd be like, no, no, I'm not going anywhere near that thing. Uh, but if Kabutops is on my side, I'd be pretty pumped. Pretty pumped about it. Um, next up, guys, 142. We got Aerodactyl. Uh, Never really cared for Aerodactyl. I think Aerodactyl on the show was just there to help Charmeleon evolve in Charizard, which is really cool. Uh, intimidating Pokemon. It's got razor sharp teeth. It's cool. Flying, prehistoric type. I'm going to give Aerodactyl a C. It passes the test, but it's not anything special to me. Uh, Snorlax. Snorlax is fun. I would just want to take a nap on Snorlax's belly. So for that, Snorlax gets a B. Uh, solid, really, really sturdy Pokemon. Big. It's got really powerful moves. Uh, don't piss off Snorlax. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Snorlax gets a B. Now we're getting to the legendaries, guys. We got the legendary birds, starting with Articuno. I'm going to give Articuno an A. I think Articuno looks beautiful, especially when we see it in the series. Articuno just looks elegant with the snow and ice kind of sprinkle off of it. It looks really badass. So I'm going to give Articuno an A. Zapdos gets a B from me. I don't like Zapdos as much as Articuno, but I like Zapdos's like wild design. It's got spikes coming everywhere. It's like the definition of lightning type. Um, really cool, but yeah, Zapdos gets a solid B. And I'm gonna give Moltres a B as well. Of the three, I like Articuno the most. Moltres and Zapdos are in the same tier to me, so they both get Bs. Um, but yeah, Moltres is pretty solid to the fire type. Really awesome. Uh, here we go, guys. We're down to like the last five. Um, we got Dratini. So we're starting to get into like the cool ones. Dratini, uh, this cute little like, I don't even know if Dratini is supposed to be like a, an eel or like a snake. 
I'm not, I'm not even sure, but the start of like the dragon types. So really like Tratini, really cute Pokemon. I'm gonna give Tratini a C, a solid C. Um, now my favorite of the three designs, guys, is Dragonair. I'm giving Dragonair an A. I love like the wing ears and it's elegant blue. I think Dratini just took a cool next step into Dragonair and it just looks badass. I always loved Dragonair's design. So Dragonair is going to get a solid A for me. And so is Dragonite, guys. Dragonite's a solid A. I like Dragonite. Super powerful, super strong, super fast. Don't mess with Dragonite, guys. Dragonite is a badass. Dragonite gets a solid, solid A. Um, Mewtwo and Mew are both S tier. Mewtwo obviously is like a created Pokemon, like a lab experience Pokemon made by Team Rocket, but powerful, intelligent, smart, uh, deep thinking. I mean, he created his own Pokemon Paradise for all the designed Pokemon that came out of the lab. Um, really like the story they did with Mewtwo and Mewtwo Strikes Back. I really like Mewtwo. Mewtwo's an S tier and Mew, uh, what they designed Mewtwo off of Mewtwo, Mew just a cute, humble Pokemon that's kind of doing its own thing. It's playful, it's adorable. Uh, Mew also can be really, really strong. Like when head to head with Mewtwo, and it looked like it was just playing along. Like when they created their own like psychic orbs and they're bashing and hitting each other. And Mew at the end of it was like, Mew, 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 Mew. And just had a conversation with Mewtwo. And like it just was just hanging out. Like Mewtwo showed its strength, or Mew, excuse me, showed its strength in that battle. Uh, so I'm going to give Mew a solid S tier as well, guys. So that's it. We made it to the end. Oh, man. I don't know how long this video has been going on, guys. Hopefully it hasn't been too long for you. But I had a lot of fun with this, guys, here. And I'm staring, I stare at this poster a lot. So that was going to bug me if I didn't make this video. Um, but I really, I think I made some solid choices. I think my S tier ended up being Charizard, Pikachu, Eevee. Uh, did we give anyone else besides Mewtwo and Mew? I think we had five S tiers in Gen 1, guys. So, yeah, I'm very stingy with my Fs and my S tiers. Uh, that's why we had a lot in the middle. So, yeah, I'm not going to give people the grades I don't think they deserve. So, for sure, that's my list, guys. Let me know about my rankings. What did you think? Was I on point? Do I have similar views to you? Or was mine, like, completely wild? Guys, if yours were different than me, then comment below. Tell me why you're wrong. I'm uh, <laughs> just kidding. Um, but I'd love to hear you guys' opinions on Gen 1. I'm a huge Pokemon fan. Uh, I still play Pokemon Go to this day. I can't wait for the Hisu Pokemon game to come out. I know they just made, like, Shining Pearl um, and Diamond as well. I haven't gotten those games yet. I didn't really like Gen 4 all that much. So, like, I've been on the fence about it, uh, if getting it or not. So, we'll see if I get it. I probably will break down eventually, get it for my Switch. Um, but, yeah, guys, comment below. Let me know your thoughts on my list. Uh, what would you grade my list, guys? Give me a grading. Was it an A? Was it an S tier list? Was it a B list? Or was it an F list? Let me know why. I love to discuss Pokemon, guys. So, let's get into a heated debate. Let's have some fun with this. Uh, if you enjoyed this, guys, I'm going to do Gen 2 coming up. I don't know when exactly because these videos take up a lot of time, um, but it'll be coming out soon so you guys will get that. Uh, but again, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell, guys. It means a lot to me. We're trying to get up to 100 subscribers uh, by the end of next year. That's my goal. So I'm just having some fun on this channel, guys. If you enjoy it, let me know. That's it for your boy, Ash. I'm out, guys. Peace. Have a fantastic day.